Hello people of Earth, my name is Wendleton with the Sentinels. Welcome to my iBuyPower PC review. I decided to do this after seeing many reviews that didn't explain after like these people just bought their PCs, they didn't have it for a while. I've had mine for about two and a half years. I want to upgrade but I still don't because this PC has been good to me. So this is my full review about it. Uh, in the background you'll see me playing Bloody Trap Land by myself. I know, I really suck. <laughs> So, uh, let's get down to business. Uh, my iBuy powered PC, I've had it for about two and a half years, goes for around $820. Okay, $820, that's a decent price um, <clears throat> for the way it works. It's a gaming PC, of course. Most of their PCs are gaming PCs. They sell them for quite a good price uh, in the low ranges to the high ranges, so higher quality, lower. Even their low quality are even decent. Mine. When I first got it, my $800, I went into Battlefield 3 and ran down Ultra. I ran about 60, 50 to 60 FPS. That's decent. I would take that. Recording fraps, I ran about 40. So I mean, I, I'll take 40 FPS. I ran about 40, about 40, 50. So just a 10 FPS drop. Uh, that's like it's running the first time. Uh, well, like upgrading everything, like not upgrading parts, but kind of downloading more stuff everything like that it does slow down I'll, I'll say that it does slow down uh, but they do sell some big like I have a two terabyte hard drive uh, you can probably buy three terabyte I'm not sure uh, sorry I'm not 100% sure but you can buy 500 gigs it's as simple as that I do have one external which I put all my videos on and it works well it hooks up to the computer fine which I love and I can put all my videos in there and it works fine <clears throat> that's a plus a uh, couple cons I've had about it. I'll go a plus con, plus con. That's how I'm gonna go with this video. The con I've had about it. It has crashed uh, a couple times. Uh, it's like a couple times. I mean, probably a, like a couple, like two, three times a month. And it, yeah, so it's not bad. Oh, no, well, let's break that down. Probably two, three times every two weeks. I'm gonna count it next time. Give you guys a certain number but for now that's just my estimate um, that's a con uh, that's probably because of all the stuff that's taking up the RAM RAM which will crash your computer but you can always buy more RAM uh, they do give you good stuff you can choose your specs of course like every PC they have uh, good prices there if you wanted to you could buy a really cheap computer there has decent stuff and maybe upgrade using um, like graphics cards, you can upgrade RAM, everything like that in the future after you buy your PC because it's totally customizable. So that's what that's a pro right there. Totally customizable. You could uh, take stuff out, put stuff in. That's always good. Uh, the amount of USB drives mine has, I think I have eight in total, which is a good amount. So I use one for my mic, one for my mic, one for my mouse, one for my keyboard. Uh, then you have a few other things. Uh, it does come with it's only one monitor, mine's only one monitor, they do tell, sell some with two. Their customer support, uh, I've never actually used it yet, I haven't, I haven't had to. I've heard it's bad, I've heard it's good, I have no opinion on that. Honestly, I think it would be better. Um, I know my brother's used it, he said it was fine, he got his all fixed up by iBuy Power, and they're good. Alright, they do sell warranties as well, and they're good with that. In my opinion, I have to stay neutral on that, because I have not used them yet. Uh, let's go ahead. Running games. Running games, uh, pretty much, it runs the games quite fine. They build the PC nice. Uh, in shipping, it doesn't break uh, anything like that. So, which is always a plus. That's like a plus, plus, plus. That in shipping, it won't break, doesn't get damaged, just ship it well. Uh, the keyboard and mouse that come with it. I'm going to transition to this. Keyboard and mouse that come with it are um, definitely... <coughs> they're They're all right. I mean, the mouse, uh, they come with two different types of mouses. There are two different types. Of, like, there's kind of a, more of a gaming one and more of a casual one. The gaming one, it kind of broke. So I'm not, I'm going to say their mouse and keyboard it comes with are not good. I still, I upgraded to a Razer, both Razer products. Love Razer. Uh, awesome products. Through upgrade your keyboard and mouse, definitely upgrade your Razer products. Uh, by the way, I'm going to review my Razer Naga Hex and my Razer Black Widow 2013 Ultimate. 2013 Ultimate Edition. Uh, soon, I'll probably record that tonight. Actually, <clears throat> yeah. But going on, yeah. So the, the keyboard and mouse it comes with are no bueno, in my opinion. Uh, like 
practically every PC ever, you always have to buy your monitor. I'm not sure they may sell specials which comes with the monitor. If they do, that's up to you to take it. I bought my monitor. The uh, monitor I bought was a Dell. It works well. It's never broken. <clears throat> Anything like that. Stays good quality. Okay, Two and a half years, guys. I've, I've, I've only upgraded keyboard and mouse. Keyboard I upgraded two years ago. And because I had my like other keyboard for a half a year, my mouse upgraded about three months after my keyboard. So, yeah, that's just telling you <clears throat> pretty much what it is. Actually, my mouse. Oh no no no, it broke. Then I got a really crappy mouse. Then I upgraded to my hex about a couple months ago. Yeah. Uh, going on, it does not run. Mine does not run dual monitors. Most uh, some of them do. Some of them even could run three. It depends on product. So they do make it so it has multiple ports to put your. Uh, monitors on which is always good always good to have dual monitors I do have dual monitors one for Xbox and one for PC it works well I honestly only need one PC monitor if I had to I really don't need it I would never use it all right going on uh, we're gonna run to about seven and a half minutes I'm gonna go to so about another minute I guess um, pretty much I think the PC in general is pretty good quality uh, mine really I haven't had issues with I little things they do use to screw it in are hardly lose could be a little bit bigger but that's my opinion I've lost them so yeah that's that uh, you they come the power button restart buttons on there everything like that it could come with Windows 8 Windows 10 uh, it may come with Windows 10 now I'm not sure I bought mine with Windows 8 so that's that <clears throat> actually I may just like end it here soon yeah so that's pretty much my full interview about I buy power if you want a full review about my PC uh, I could do that, my specs and everything, but that's just my general overview of I buy power in general. Okay, I can do an actual PC review next time. But for now, guys, this will do it. As always, take care. Don't forget to like us, uh, like us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, guys.